to be here with the lovely Mark Taylor. Thank um, you. Echo's product manager. My name's Jenica. And <laughs> I'm Jana. I'm Jared. And we're from J&J &J Property Pros. Thanks for joining us today. So, Mark, I think I'm going to pass the mic. <laughs> so I'm going to start off our questions today. So we just kind of wanted to know, how did you even get into the green industry? How did you connect with Echo? How did you become one of their product managers? Just kind of like tell us a little bit of this backstory. Yes, yes. Well, thank you very much for asking and thank you for having me here, right? <laughs> Um, love it. So yeah, I've, I've actually been in product management for 15 years. Okay. Um, out of college, I, I got into construction and uh, have not really left, right? I love yeah. contractors. I love talking to consumers and everything. Uh, I've worked for other power tool companies before. Okay. So Echo being kind of in my backyard of Chicago where they're building all the product right there, right. Um, made it very easy <laughs> to you know search out and find the right company for myself. So um, yeah, it's, it's something I'm passionate about in terms of consumers and customers and helping people and power tools. So this was an easy decision to right. get into, right? right? That's, yeah, exactly. yeah, no, it's true. Exactly. Echo, you, you know, it's an amazing company. Exactly, seen it. exactly. Yeah. Market leaders and everything. <laughs> no, so it's a little bit easier to yeah. kind of work for somebody right. like that than up and starting. But, right. um, you know, overall, there's challenges everywhere right. you're at. Right. And, right. and Echo is, you know, trying to remain on top, uh, focusing yeah. on new product development. It it keeps the days moving right. along very well and keeps yeah. me busy. So <laughs> which, I love it here. Which actually, speaking of product development, um, we're going to go right into actually mm -hmm. how is the best when what is the best way you would recommend to maintain some of the products like the trimmers and just the multi-purpose tools. What if, what are some of those best practices that you would say and you would recommend to people watching? Yep, yep. So it it's I, I like to keep things simple, right? Okay. I do follow that strategy <laughs> yes, and everything. Yes, exactly, yes. <laughs> exactly. I can mess up a lot less things when you keep it simple, agreed, but agreed. It, it really is. Exactly. And when you talk about a multi-tool, right? right? I mean, the right. value of the multi-tool, the PAS system we have, yeah. is it's one powerhead, yes. right? Yeah. And so you only have to maintain one powerhead, okay. and then you can have all the different applications. Right. And so it's it's you know air filters, greasing the uh, the lines mm -hmm. and, and your drive cable, and uh, you know just spark plugs and yeah. and other. I mean, ma easy maintenance stuff, right? right. Which right. I know is 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 one of those like very simple, but do it yeah. right it yeah. is it's it follow the manufacturer recommended <laughs> procedures right yeah yes, th yes. three months for those air filters and stuff yeah, yeah. but it is it, it's Important. exactly it's, yeah it's and it is it's the little things yeah. it's keeping your blades clean on your yes. hedge clippers yep. and stuff right and so obviously the red armor has great products to do all that but right. anything right i mean right. this is one of those keep maintaining keep keeping <laughs> it up to speed right. you'll get that life and the longevity Correct. out of the system yes. and that's that's really what echo wants right yes. and we stand behind our products we have good warranties yes, but yep. there are products out there 20, 30 years, mm -hmm. and those are being done with the simple maintenance uh, procedures Exa that are out there. Exactly. And it works. And exactly. it does work. It exactly. does work. Yes, yes. It is. It's the simple things in life, right? It's, it's, it's so <laughs> true. Air, air filters. <laughs> and, Don't and reinvent the wheel. Yeah, no. Exactly. Right, right? Exactly. Don't reinvent the wheel. Again, I'm. thank you so much, Mark, for my two questions here. I'm going to hand you off to my brother. There you go. Okay. Thank you. All right, Mark. Okay. Now the big question. Here we go. In the future, do you think Echo will have a backpack battery powered blower? Do you think? I so yes. Um, <laughs> the the expectation from Echo is that we should have products that are designed for professionals in a manner that will serve your purposes. Right. So, right. um 100% an expectation of everything we have in gas yeah. would would be making its life into a battery powered product. We are product definitely at some point, definitely you know? hoping for a hurricane on our backs. We're just ready to roll. We just want we press the button. We just want to yes, just fly yes. backwards. You know? So so yeah, uh, there are certain limitations to some <laughs> products that are out there, but um, ultimately I think as technology continues to right. improve and, and we get to stay on top of that, the products will be able to perform to the expectations the pros want, right? right I mean, the last right. thing that we're gonna do is develop something just to get it out to the market. Right. We right. wanna develop something that's gonna get out to the market in a fast time, right. but it's gonna be usable, right? Yes. I mean, yes. I've seen yep. countless job sites and, and customers, you know, 
storage areas where you walk in and you're like, oh, you got backpack blowers that are just covered in dust because Yo. they can't yes. use them anymore, right? Yeah. And and so I think it is one of those, the uh, just because you have it doesn't mean it works well. Right. Um, and right. we want to make sure that we have it and it works well. Well, we're pretty happy so far. I'll, I'll <laughs> give you that you much. <laughs> there you go. Now, <laughs> as far as battery power goes, what are some of the pros and cons? I know we have some in our heads, but I'd like to hear your perspective. What do you think are some benefits and maybe some drawbacks? Yep. So, uh, I mean, when you talk about benefits and, and straight out of users' mouths that I've taught, spoken to today and, right. and yesterday. So using the tool, it is usually lighter weight, right? When we start talking about like the DSRM 2600 compared right. to an SRM 2620, it's about a pound lighter and that's included with the battery, right? And right. so now you're wearing a little bit less on your body throughout the day. When you talk about the vibration, exactly, it's lower, right? And so you're not vibrating as much. There's the, uh, obviously it's cleaner. It's so you're helping the environment a little bit, right? Not kind of polluting a little bit, but that also helps you. You're not smelling like it and spilling gas. Smelling two cycle all day long and exactly. it's blowing back in your face. I mean, don't get, yes, yes. There's a lot of Justin, Jason Wilkes in the world that love Two stroke and and right. and we're going to continue to make those and have those products. Right. But you know some of the values of the battery products is just not having to worry about that anymore. You know. And so yeah, you got to charge batteries, but that is a uh, you know it's an easier aspect of being able to use your product and service it versus you know going ahead and having to mix it all day every day. Yes. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty sold on it. We're loving it so far. Yes, no, it's always good to hear, right? Always good to hear. Mark, now, now I get to ask you some questions. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so as we're on the theme of battery power, and as it's becoming more popular, what are your thoughts on trade in value? Like, will, will, will we be stuck with these pieces of equipment and there's no trade in value or what, what are your thoughts on this? It's like, is this a good decision yes, or yes. a bad decision? So, so what are your thoughts? Yeah. So, so with what I know, Pulling in terms the trigger. of trimmers, yeah, right? The reality the is most people aren't um, renting trimmers and stuff like that. Right. And so I think the question that you guys are right. talking about, it's a lot more bigger equipment that people are renting and, and potentially right. returning, right? The equipment right. themselves is still built to the same high quality aspect of what's going on. Right. Um, right. And so we do see it added value and not, not losing it just because it's battery versus gas, right? Um, obviously the batteries themselves do eventually wear out after a set number right. of uses, but that equipment will always be there and always be built to that same high quality standard. So. Um, the answer yeah. is yes, we do see value in the, the resale and the trade-ins. And, and I think yeah. as more consumers continue to adopt it, there's going to be more people who want it right. and more you know more opportunities to resell that product. So there's an outlet for it. Exactly, right? exactly. And, and I know I some it's hard to find sometimes re places to recycle batteries and yep. things like that. And I think Echo actually has. Yes. So we, is that correct? We yeah. have a great program, right? So we partner with RBRC. And what they are is it's Amazing. a national company. On the back of our batteries, there's a phone number and a website. Amazing. And so, um, Call the actually, phone number. Yep, and, and so actually, I did this earlier today. I got on the RBRC website and I just typed in where I'm at, right, Louisville, Kentucky. It Amazing. popped up or with 15 different places that I could go drop them off at just around here. Right, all within 10 or 20 miles. Amazing. So that is a big concern for everybody, yeah. right? Is right. you want to? How like, do you? What do you do I'm, with I'm this? I'm saving the world, right, but right. then I'm gonna pollute it again. Like, Correct. no, that is. Right. Do not throw the batteries because away. Right. They are. That is not the. I think the that's last the, place the other big up, case you know? about battery. That's what everyone always brings up. They go, well, you're still polluting because there's no. Exactly. So yeah. Echo yeah. has. Yeah, and that's the amazing. people we partner with, they use the everything. Yeah. I mean, they they literally grind down the plastics and reuse it. The the lithium ion, all the rare metals and that are in there. Everything gets reused and recycled. Renew, reuse, recycle. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's and so that's, 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 we figured we've partnered with the right people and everything. And actually, we've already prepaid for it. Every battery we bring in, we prepay for it. So it costs the consumer nothing. You literally just walk Amazing. into the store, here's my battery, and they'll take it and go. So it, it, we try to make it as easy for everybody as possible. Talk about having modes and systems possible. in place. You, you got know? that right. You know, yeah, our service it's department key. is amazing in yeah. gas, and now they're stepping up in battery, it's being amazing. able to service everything that's out there and, for and being a company able to show things like this. To be able us, to do know? that. Exactly. Well, and for care, you know, I mean, a company to care to know yes. that this is 
like we said, it, don't throw them away. We've already You're seeing the big it, picture so exactly. instead of just being myopic. You got that right. Yes, ma'am. We like amazing. to keep the, the earth beautiful through our products, but also <laughs> right, through the new right. products that we have. You know, right. we want it good for the next generation, That's all right. that yep. stuff. Yes, That's right. Yep. Now, with the longevity, <laughs> um, in terms of battery and gas powered, what would you say are some essential tools a new landscaping company or even a veteran company should have yep. to just help their business and work go easier. Yep. So I'm I'm gonna talk about the PAS system a little okay. bit, right? The pro uh, attachment for, system. Yeah. yeah. And that's We'd agree. I, the <laughs> truth is, is is especially for a smaller crew, right? One or two guys, you can yep. you know buy and maintain one power head, right? So now you're only having to worry about that one power head. But you can offer new services to your customers. Yep. You know, go, go out and buy the tiller attachment. Now you can do somebody's garden in the spring or in the fall, right? There's the the sweeps right. for in the in the pro paddles if you want to mulch around and stuff. So it really is being able to grow your business yep. by not having to you know invest in all these new tools that then you're gonna have to care for and store about yeah. it's just getting the different attachments so um, yeah. for me the PAS yeah. system especially for somebody starting out it's we a great agree. investment to be able to step in and, and yeah. then like I said grow the business when you're ready to grow the business just by getting that attachment and being able to offer those services so it is a great way to it's get a great into the start. business. you got that it's right. a great yes, and it's yes, true like you said there are so many different attachments that go we have right. 16 Power attachments. can you tell us a little yep, bit yep. more about the 16 so attachments we, we have we have three different I mean, head trimmers amazing. I mean there's a shortened one and then a longer and one the other part is it's versatile it's gas and it's same so attachments talk, please for talk both. about all yes, that ma please so, talk about so we actually have a couple new products coming out uh, early this year and in the mid part next year where it will be just the power head only right so yeah. so yeah. we have the the 20 DPAS 2600 and then the DPAS 2100 and so those are PAS systems right but they come with the lower end attachment well if I already have gas power products and I want to convert over to battery I don't want to have to buy thing. all new attachments <laughs> exactly now you can just come out and get the the power head only and it'll come with the battery and the charger and everything you need to step in and now change over we're, from gas to battery. We're all about efficiency. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> well, and saving a little bit of cost, right? I mean, the last thing you yeah, want is right. a bunch of stuff that sits in the back edge of the trailer, right? I mean, that's yep. money lost. I mean, yeah. that is a horrible thing for all business yeah. owners. So what we want is to sell you the exact product you right. want in the exact configuration and uh, you know, make that change over a little bit easy. So we are very excited for those products to launch in about Q1, Q2 next year. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Got those claps in there. There you go. Do you, yeah, yes, I think you, you had a final. So Mark, the final question is, maybe it had something to do with why Echo hired you, but you were voted America's sexiest man. <laughs> so the question is, how and why did that happen? What is, what is the thought process behind that? <laughs> uh, uh, it's, yeah, uh, uh, my, my wife appreciates that, Jared, thank you. Uh, it's confidence, right? It Yay, is knowing you who go. you are and your there strengths you and your weaknesses, right? <laughs> and now that the um, chat is going to be about, you know, you the, the you, memoirs. You might have done something nobody's done, gotten me quiet, right? I don't know if I have an answer to that. A little bit red in the face and everything, right? Thank you, thank you. You handled it with grace, Mark. No, you handled it with grace. <laughs> I appreciate that. So other than those amazing questions, I I think did I think we somewhat covered. Is there anything you'd like to add or say to anyone out there? I <laughs> No, I mean, just so once again, we, we appreciate yeah. all of our customers and especially giving us feedback, right? I mean, the yes. reality of especially a product big. manager is we are supposed to bring that voice of customer in. And so right. we can't design products to meet customers' needs if we don't know that. So right. pass us all the information, good, bad, indifferent, right? I mean, we, we love to hear back from all of our end users and we really appreciate our UAG group here. We appreciate you, everyone. Yes. Yes. Mark Taylor, thank you, thank you thank so you all much. Very much. Yeah, we appreciate it. <laughs>